Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Steve McGuire. We're uh, currently going to give it a few more minutes uh, to allow people to go on and join before we get started. Uh, so bear with us for just a few minutes. Our goal is to get through this rather quickly uh, and keep this to within one hour. So uh, we're going to our what we're going to do. We're going to open it at the end of the product session. We're going to mute everybody, but we're going to open it up at the end of the product session. Uh, for a question and answer, and then uh, when that's done, we will mute everyone again and finish out with some of the programs and some of the what's new at SLG, and then at the end of that, we'll open it up again for a final question and answer. So that's how everything will start and run for this afternoon, uh, and it's not quite time to get started, so hang on there for, with us for a few more minutes. Thank you. Hi again, everyone. Uh, I see it's a little bit after three, so we want to get started on uh, the, the uh, webinar so we can make sure we get you guys out of here within an hour or so. Uh, just to go through this thing, uh, hopefully everything works. Hannah and I have been rehearsing it, and hopefully all will go well. So let's get started. 
So here's an overview of what we're going to discuss. We're going to talk about some of the new products. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, what's coming soon for the rep porthole that you, a lot of you have been talking about. We're going to talk about some of the advertising and marketing campaigns uh, that we are uh, involved in and we want to get some feedback from you guys to, to what else you would like to see. Uh, and the other thing is we introduced a new mock-up program that we want to briefly discuss. You'll be hearing more about that from each of the regional sales managers. Uh, and then we want to talk about some of the conferences that uh, SLG will be in attendance this year and uh, then open it up again at the very end uh, for question and answer. And as I said, at the end of the product session, uh, Hannah will unmute everyone so that save your questions for all your products till the end of the product session. We'll open it up. And then when, no, when all the uh, questions have been answered, then we'll get into the other uh, programs mm -hmm. and things that we're doing. Oh, sorry. So we want to quickly. Oh, I just want to say I, I won't unmute all of you, um, but at the end of the new products, if you can unmute yourself, because if I, if I unmute everyone, then it's going to get very noisy very quickly. So if you can unmute yourself and then and then start to speak. Okay. If there's any problem, you can always text it to us. Uh, Hannah will be able to see it and take care of it. All right. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about what we're very excited about. And I know a lot of you have seen and uh, more of these uh, samples are coming over. So we'll be able to get these samples to you uh, on upon request. Uh, I know a couple of our reps have already sold some opportunities for this, but it's, this is our new sports lighter uh, that we're offering. Uh, this new sports lighter, we're going to offer it in a 340 watt, uh, producing 51,000 up to an 800 watt unit that's producing roughly 115,000 lumens. Now, currently, we're only offering this product in a NEMA 4 distribution, but soon uh, we'll be ha we'll ha offer the NEMA 2 and NEMA 3 light distribution with this product as well. Some major advantages for this product as uh, with all LEDs over an HID, you know, of course it's energy saving, but the biggest, uh, the biggest push with this thing is the amount of fixtures required. In a lot of cases, uh, you can reduce up to 50% of the uh, HID fixtures with using this new Sparta sports light. Uh, it has a few options. The same thing can be used with controls. Um, so it is, it is uh, adaptable for, for control systems. It's got a laser pointer. Uh, it's got uh, visors uh, for the top, as you can see. And you can see it to the left compared to an, a standard HID traditional sports lighter. Uh, really neat product. I know a lot of you have seen it and, and uh, have felt a lot of it. This thing is beyond... Um, some of the uh, features that you're seeing here that's pretty standard. What's unique about this thing, it weighs 68 pounds. Now, at first you're gonna say 68 pounds, but when you compare it to the competition, uh, it is quite light for the amount of light this thing is putting out. Um, again, uh, this thing is a 10-year product. It sticks with our tradition, with our 10-year product line. Uh, we're very proud of the Sparta sports lighter. And like I said, uh, if you're coming to NIMRA next week, if you're a NIMRA rep and you're at NIMRA, it will be at NIMRA with us. So uh, looking forward to showing it to you there if you haven't seen it already. The next thing we want to talk about, it's something new. There we go, is our new post top. Uh, we're very excited about this. We're going to come out with a, a series and line uh, that's going to support this as well. So get ready for more introduction about this thing. Uh, it's a new, uh, this current one, uh, it's a sleek design. I know a lot of you seen something unique to that. Again, this will be available at NEMRA to be, view. Uh, currently, this particular model will mount on a pole or a trunnion. So in some of those cases where you've got a square pole, you need a rail mount uh, to mount it. But not a problem. There's a trunnion that can go over the round and convert your pole or your square pole for a round pole for the uh, mounting at the top of that. Uh, again, this is suitable for eight foot up to 20 feet mounting height. We're going to offer it even though the chart shows it only in a 5,000 Kelvin. The lumens aren't any different. 
for the four, but it will be offered in four and 5,000 Kelvin. Um, we will have only in the AP 150, only in the higher wattage, will we be offering a 480 volt option for this unit. So standard 122.77, with the exception of the AP 150, which we will offer in a 480 volt. Again, a zero to 10 volt dimming, dark bronze and black finishes are standard. DLC premium pending, again, a 10-year product. Uh, the EPA dimensions to the side, that's the win rating. So yes, it does have a win rating for those questions, and that's the EPA rating for it. The next product. This is our new round UFO. This is what we call our contractor series. And look at what we said. It's very economical. So uh, most of our contractor series that we have introduced, we have simply uh, used the same chip, as you well know, the LumaLED, and we used a lot less of them. Um, we gotten called from several of our distribu distribution partners basically saying, that's great, that's fine, but I need a very inexpensive uh, UFO high day offering um, that um, I can compete with a lot of the uh, other very cheap lines out there. Contractors, they don't care that it's a 10-year product. They want a five-year product, and they want it cheap. So just to give you a heads up on this product, it is, you, well, most of you have seen the new pricing. You see the price points on this thing. I will warn you, though, this is the one product that we are not using the LumaLED chip in. Uh, again, this was to get this the price down and dirty. So we are using, it's a quality Chinese chip, but it is a Chinese chip. It's made by Epistar, I think is the supplier for this chip. But, um, but uh, it's a quality chip for them, but it's not near the quality of a LumaLED. Uh, to use LumaLED, we could not reach the price points and the objectives that we were shooting for here. So just to give you a heads up on that. So, uh, but it does get down and dirty in, in pricing. It's got a hook, surface mount, pendulum mount, or you can have a bracket mount. Now, that bracket mount is traditionally a yoke, but you can see the picture of below. There is a device that has to be installed to the top of the unit to uh, be able to use the yoke mount if that's the way you want to go. Um, this, again, is going to be offered in a four and 5,000 Calvin. We're only going to offer a 180, I mean, a, a high volt option in the in the 185 version and the 250 watt or the 250 version, the 190 watt. Uh, zero to 10 volt dimming. It's only going to be offered in black. That's the only color we're going to have. Now, can we disassemble it, send it out for powder coat? Yes. It's you know it's going to have the standard fees that that we charge for. Um, custom painting, but this thing will only be stocked in black. DLC pending, uh, five-year warranty, and uh, they're currently in stock. One of the new things that we promise you uh, is a new flood, a very high uh, light output flood. Uh, that This will be around available quarter one. Uh, right now, we're, we're looking at the name. Right now, we call it Humongous because it is uh, in comparison to everything um, that we've offered. This is only going to be uh, yoke mounted. That's the only mount that this thing comes with is a yoke mount. Again, ambient temperature, as you would expect, um, there is high voltage option available, zero to 10 volt DC, DLC premium pending, this is the contractor series, so it is a, only a five-year product. We will be offering a photo cell option for this as well. Uh, again, you can see it ranges from 250 watt to 350 watts at 40, 48,000 lumens. Currently, we only offer it in a wide flood, as you can see below, but we will be offering it in a medium flood in the near future. Next is we've changed our generation on our current downlights that we've been offering that center basket style. 
We, the new models now have an adjustable wattage output. So basically it's, it's a much higher lumen package. It's totally adjustable. Um, you can see the two by two are offered anywhere from 20 watt is the lowest at 2,600 lumens up to a 30 watt at 3,700 lumens. We offer a two by four at the lowest wattage of 34 watts at 4,500 lumens up to a 45 watt at 5,760 lumens. Now we do offer one that is not adjustable. It is a 55 watt um, back um, panel that's going to be at 7,000 lumens. Again, these will be offered in 35, 4, and 5K, uh, 0 to 10 volt dimming. Sensor options will be coming soon. Um, I know you guys in California, um, that's a requirement to you, and some of you guys in New England, uh, that's a plus for you guys. Uh, we're, we've got a couple different systems that we're looking at, uh, and we're trying to evaluate which one is the best and co most cost effective to offer. Now, there are some options that we currently have, so if it's of need to you, just uh, reach out to us and, and we can talk you through which would be the best way to go. Now I want to talk about our new backlit panel. As you all know, this is G2, and the reason we come up with G2 is simply put, we uh, went out and got this unit. Uh, it was in high demand. Uh, some of the suppliers on this couldn't keep up with our demand, so we basically had to come out with a, with a go a different route. So that's what we did, uh, and now we are offering the G2. Uh, we offer it in a one before, a two by two, and a two before. These are currently in stock. They are DLC premium, five-year warranty. Uh, this thing can be surface-mounted, and we do sell a surface-mounted kit, along with, uh, of course, recess, and then suspended now, which we will sell that um, cabling to be able to suspend it if you need. Again, emergency battery backups will be able to be used with this units as well, and uh, lighting controls, the same thing. Uh, We'll get into some of the lighting controls a little later that we're going to be offering so that you guys can see. Um, we will be offering up to a 60 watt in that at 6,600 lumens. I know there have been a lot of interest in that. It will only be offered right now in a 4,000 Kelvin, not in five. The next thing is new is our new wrap fixture. Uh, it's currently going to be only offered in a four foot only version. So um, it's uh, increased lumen package over our Gen 1. Now, the Gen 1 will eventually be phased out. So if you've got any projects or open projects with it uh, and you want to make sure, uh, let us know. Reach out to the regionals, our customer service. Let us know. Let us check on quantity so that we make sure we cover your needs for it. Again, this thing can be surface mounted or suspended. It has zero to 10 volt dimming, DLC premium pending, five year warranty, available in Q1. A few accessories will be dimming sensors, optic sensors, and of course, emergency battery backup will be available for these units. We got the new contractor series strip light, both in four foot and eight foot sections. Uh, this unit, uh, Will be it's currently in stock now this is a little bit different from the uh original version and the original version was the uh g g1 which was a 10-year product this is only a five-year product so just be aware of that again um, sensors are available both in dimming occupancy and emergency battery backup as well We uh, come up with a new, as you all know, uh, we, we do our own lens and we just redesigned uh, this fixture recently with the new optic. Uh, the new optics uh, improved over G2. Uh, it offers better light distribution with uh, a lot better cutoff. Um, so that's, that's the reason we did it. We are phasing out Gen 1, which predominantly is mainly the, the difference in the lens and, lens and the output. This will be this will have again just like the other one zero to ten volt DLC premium. This is a ten year one of our premium products. Uh, you can see the difference in the optics below. 
of, of why we went to this and changed. We will offer a few accessories with this, ranging from button photocells, dimming the motion sensors, various lens for those, and also emergency battery backup will be available. Um, we will offer it in a medium and large unit, medium small ones at 3,800 lumens, all the way up to 18,000 lumens. Something that's new, we call it the temporary light or the temp light. A lot of you have been uh, talking about you working, uh, you know, with, with distributors that sell to a lot of contractors, especially a lot of large, a large uh, uh, contractors that do a lot of new construction and need to string temporary lighting. Uh, one of the biggest complaints with the temporary lighting has been that the baskets are so large they run it through the drywall and they drywall around it. They have to end up cutting the cord and basically they're throwing the uh, temporary lighting away after every job. What's unique about this one is that the bulbs are removable. Now the bulbs come, the, the LED bulbs come with this thing. Uh, there's 10 of them. Uh, as you know, it, it's LED. It's not, there's no worry about being stolen. Uh, they can be stolen. There's a release button. It's a twist lock type. Uh, base in there that we've used, uh, but again, there's nowhere they can use this this lamp. So to steal this thing out of the, out of the picture, it's no use to them because it won't work in anything else. We will have replacements for this available. The lamps will be in stock and replaceable. Um, this thing is a really cool product. A lot of distributors are really uh, hot for this thing. Um, the tin bulbs in the line will produce 10,500 lumens for the total string. You can put, connect up to eight strings uh, on, on one system. So you, as you can see the, from the picture below, uh, you can go from one end to the other with them uh, and connect up to eight in a row. Again, five-year warranty. Uh, this will be in very soon. I want to talk to you about a series of downlights that we're going to be offering. Uh, this is a quick glance of the three new ones that we're going to be introducing uh, this quarter. Get into the details of this thing. Uh, this is for a residential application for the most part. Of course, you can use it on other things. But what is unique about this, this will come with selectable CCT. Again, ranging from in, in a four inch and a six inch, uh, from 10 watts to 14 watts, where um, the adjustable CTT will range from 2,700 to 5,000 Kelvin. Again, a five-year warranty. This one is also triac dimming. So standard LED wall dimmers will work fine with this thing. Uh, so you don't have to do zero to 10 volt DC uh, for these, these products. The next product is the new Slim um, uh, Downlights. Again, it's an ultra thin uh, series, a lot of residential applications, as you know. Um, I'm actually gonna, when these come in, install a couple of them in my house. I wanna do some uh, additional lighting and this is what I'm gonna end up using. Again, very thin, very neat, adjustable CCTs. Uh, we offer it in a round and also in a square in square models various wattages and again adjustable cct ranging from 2700 to 5000 kelvin energy star on all these products are pending again this unit also track dimming uh, so you don't have to worry about zero to 10 volt um, wires here's our new commercial uh, retrofit um, downlight that we're offering uh what this one is not dimmable so just to let you know it is not a dimmable unit however it can be adjusted the wattage again on this uh, the four inch ranging from seven to 14 watts a low of 550 lumens up to 1100 again the eight inch 14 20 27 watts 1015 2000 uh, lumens now, again this product will be offered Currently, at first, only in a 4,000 Kelvin, but uh, if you guys need additional colors, uh, 35 or, um, uh, or 3,000, let us know. We can definitely entertain stocking that as well. 
I want to talk a little bit about our synopsis control system. Some of you have seen this. Uh, some of you have actually used this, especially in, in car dealerships and around. But this is our new uh, control system. Now, this can be used in, in interior or exterior uh, lighting controls. Whoop. It can be used for interior or exterior. Predominantly, I would more likely use this for an exterior application because there's another better option, interior, a little cheaper. But as you can see, it requires a gateway. Uh, that gateway requires an internet connection on site. Uh, you can uh, control this thing uh, by multiple different ways through your cell phone, through tablets, uh, computers, you know, different, different ways of controlling it. Um, you can create, again, a connection through the simple snap that you can be off site uh, and adjust the lighting however you want. Totally programmable, so you can group uh, whatever lights to whatever schemes that you want um, on, on site. So, um, and also it adjusts, if you put in the longitude and latitude of where your location, it will automatically, so there's no going back in and retuning it for daylight savings. This thing will know when sunrise, sunset is, and it will turn on, turn off uh, accordingly. Each of the lighting fixtures will require the controller or the module to the right. Uh, that will get installed at our facility before it's shipped, along with the small antenna that will communicate to the gateway. Now, again, the amount of this is almost endless, so, but each one of the fixtures does have to have this module installed. The next product we have for interior, a little simpler, it's kind of similar to what you've seen with some of the other systems that's been out there, um, but this is Bluetooth. So this is a way that you can install um, in, in, in your office space um, a control system relatively inexpensive and do a lot of different programmings and groupings. Now, I will tell you, each fixture requires its own mesh power supply. There are two mesh power supplies available. There is a standard one for a standard fixture. It will include dimming and, and all that. And then there's another one that has a adjustable CCT. That one would require to be installed on a fixture that has a driver that has the capability of an adjustable CCT. It will not work on a standard fixture that doesn't have a color adjusting CCT driver, just to let you know. So uh, you've got to marry the two up if that's what you want to do. Again, the sensor and wall switch can all be one, it would only require one switch, one of those sensors, uh, and they can all be grouped in whatever groupings that you want, but every fixture would require one of these power packs. All right, next thing. There we go. Hannah, you want to, oh, I want to open it up for uh, question and answer for the product. Hello? Uh, Steve, I do have one uh, question from John. He asked, what is yeah. the cost going to be on the CCT Suctable E26 uh, CAN retrofit? I, I don't have the price up in front of me. It's a brand new product. We just sent that price list out to everyone, so you should have it uh, in your latest updates in your price list. Okay. That's why we were hurrying, but I mean, um, you can reach out to one of your regionals or to me afterwards, and we can definitely look it up if you don't have it. Mm -hmm. Another question from Kathy is, do we offer lighting layout? Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. uh, our electrical engineer in-house, Chloe's probably online. She does a fantastic job, uh, and she turns those around fairly quickly. So 
You can request mm -hmm. that through each of our regions currently. We've got a new regional sales, uh, sales manager for the Northeast. Uh, Rob is probably on the phone with it, or on this call with us today, Rob Cirillo. Uh, but you can reach out to each one of your regional sales managers or to customer service, and they can definitely get your request over to Chloe. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I did put Chloe's email address, so if you do, you know, have anything to email her, feel free. And then, uh, see from Phil, he asks, will samples of these new products be sent to the reps automatically? No, not necessarily, because there's certain certain. It's, some of the reps have certain markets that you know they concentrate on, and some of these products don't apply. If you need samples, mm -hmm. reach out to your regional sales managers. They are now responsible for all the samples that in their area. So reach out to them and put that request in. Okay, perfect. And uh, let's Another, uh, yes, regarding the question for the PowerPoint, I will send it out um, after the meeting is over. And then we also do have this presentation recorded as well. So I will send that out at the end. Dave has a question. He says, when are the thin four inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch square round down lights available, the DS down lights? Uh, they're going to be, all of this is going to be in by the end of quarter one. I suspect based on the last update I got, we're looking at probably near the end of February before we have them in stock. But mm -hmm. by the, definitely by the end of quarter one, we will have all these products in stock. Mm -hmm. And then from Rich, he asks, does the Synapse have a cell phone based gateway? You, you can access it. Now that's a little something new. Uh, for me, it's a little, uh, Bo, our IT person, can answer more of that question. I do know it. you can access the gateway to do uh, changes and, uh, and, and access the program and get the license to do different things from your cell phone, if that's what you mean. That and does yes, have I that ability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I just want to add, that um, that there is a Verizon feature to the gateway, but I've also included Bo's email address. And so if you do have any questions, he's the best person that's very knowledgeable about the Synapse gateway control. Um, from Zach, he asks, can the wrap with OCC be DLC qualified as a stairwell fixture? Lots of demand for that one and good rebates. For which one? I think this is the TR surface wraparound. Is that right? Uh, I will have to check uh, because I think, if I'm not mistaken, on stairwell and depending on where you're at, I think stairwell has to be vandal proof. And mm -hmm. that particular wraparound would not be qualified for vandal proof. But um, we could definitely look at doing something with possibly a vapor type if there's a big enough market for it. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the vapor type type fixtures. Um, and then Rich, he asked about the general price point per mesh power supply per fixture. I assume this is about the Bluetooth power pack mesh. Yes, uh, and I'm sure that is. Uh, again, um, don't quote me on this. Did, did we? Was that included, Hannah, in the price list that no, just that went was, out? Yes. Yes. So, okay. Uh, and that I, I want to say that, and don't quote me on this. I think there's, it's, I don't know, ninety, a hundred dollars for the module for the fixture, and then there's a fat flat fee for the gateway itself. And then there is a, if you want us to set everything up, uh, that's Bo can do that and map the mm -hmm. whole thing. And there's a fee for that as well. So if, if there's an interest, we can definitely uh, talk you through that whole process. Just reach out to the regional and we can get you into the right person. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
And then Alan asks, will SLG offer a square bollard? Do we have that in the works? A, a square bollard? Yes. Yeah, there's, Alan, there's several different models that we're looking at, and we're even reaching out to some partners for suggestions. But, yeah, that's one of the products that we do have that we're looking at. Uh, Timing-wise, I just don't know. Not yet. Mm -hmm. um, is the LED temporary light, does it have the ISHMA rating? IS. HMA, that's the standard -E I will have to, I would assume it would, but let me check. Mm -hmm. I think it does, but I will just confirm that. This is, mm -hmm. like I said, we've got currently one sample of this guy, so we don't have all the details on it yet. But uh, we will definitely let you know. I think it does, by the way, but I will confirm it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so um, regarding questions about pricing, there was a new product price sheet that was sent out um, that was sent out, I believe, last week. Yes. Um, if you didn't get so, it, just reach out to us, let us know. Yes, if you did not receive it, let me know, and then that way I can add you to our mailing list and then just uh, confirm that you can receive this product price list. Um, and and then it will actually have a lot of the new product prices and information. I'm not sure about some of the accessories, and so if that is not listed uh, in the product price guide, then just please call our office number and get in touch with customer service and they're, and they're the best people who will be able to answer that question. Um, so Steve, uh, regarding the SHMA, it's uh, a little more information. It's from David. It's about the mines in Eastern Kentucky. Uh-huh. Yes. So I think that's something we'll, we'll have to take a look at. What, what what I know there's special criteria for the mine, Dave, and you're talking about inside the light like a mine, and it probably has the special. I know it'll have you know all the IP ratings, but I'm not sure of what other criteria in the mine that would request that would require. But we can definitely talk about that offline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to lead us into the next slide about the website, and so I think. I'm sure most all of you have already seen our new website, but I just kind of wanted to highlight on a few really cool features that maybe um, you haven't been able to visit yet. And so the first is the rebate finder. And then we also have up-to-date DLC listing for all of our products if it has been entered into DLC and already certified. We also have the IES files for our products. And then we have uh, product inventory, and then you can also find like press releases and high res images. And then that way, if you want to, you can also distribute that information in your own uh, circle. And then we also have the replicator map. And so I'm just going to um, exit this presentation and take you to our website. Okay. Can everyone see my? Can, can everyone see the new SLG website? Okay. All right. So first, I want to go into rebates. And so that's actually going to be right here under resources. So here are our rebates, and it automatically load with all of the lists of our products, including the classification, the wattage. And then you can just, you can even select something like, let's choose high base and then put in your zip code. I'm just going to put the one here at the office. I don't know what it'll pop up with. And then you can choose the utility, utility company. And then it'll show the information here. 
So that's one way to find the rebates um, for the product. The other way is to actually go into a product page like the Area Light G1 and G2. And you can click on check rebates and it'll take you to this specific product and, um, and the rebate information. So that's one new feature that we're very excited to offer. The other one is DLC. And that's going to be that's going to be here. So I'm going to just pull up again. I'll do area light generation three. And then if you go down here to where all the different little um, panels are kind of open, like, for example, the specifications will open into more information here. DLC is actually going to show you all of the information um, for this for this product. And then here you can see the uh, photometry. So in the past, we just had it into one little folder where you download the zip and get everything. Now, if you're actually looking for something specific, you can just download that individual file for that for that product, like the ALL 510 T3 G3 4K. Or if you like that, you can also download, I believe, all of them in one in one click. I'm not seeing it here, but I, I know that there is a way to do that. And then our installation guide and then the accessories and options. And so there's a lot of information that we have actually tried to add to our product pages just as we have, you know, listened and answered questions on the go. So that way, the more information you have, um, the easier and faster it is to make a decision and to understand all the different features of this, this product. And then we do have a new page uh, coming soon. I mean, you can, you can already see it now, but we're going to add more to this. And so this is our news page. And in the future, we'll include our press release, our official press release articles, and it will also include the high res product images. And, um, and we'll also include the kind of media kit of where our advertisements have been featured or when SLG has been uh, mentioned in the news. And then the last thing I want to show is, uh, is the where to buy. And this goes directly into our rep locator page. So if you see this, uh, if you go to this page and you see that the information is incorrect, or um, please let us know so that way we can keep this page updated. Um, please contact, you can actually uh, just contact using this form here. And then that way we can update the information so it is accurate. So that's a little bit about our new website page. And then we are also um, going to add a lighting assistance page where you can send information about lighting layouts, requests for lighting layouts, and that will actually be sent directly to our electrical engineer, Chloe, who uh, does all of this in-house for us. All right. Any questions? Okay. All right. Now, the next exciting thing that we are adding to the website is the rep portal. And I think we also discussed a little bit of this last year in quarter three. And so the rep portal, it'll allow, um, it'll allow you to look up order status, to look up the shipment tracking information, look up you know, information about the customer and their order history. It'll also allow you to create a branded quote so you can actually upload your own logo onto the quote and then send that. Um, the quote can also be converted to an order that's attached to the PO, and you can also, of course, make notes to an existing order. Uh, through the rep portal, you can also request RMA and then show the inventory status for uh, certain products. And we are working on adding additional features. So if you are interested in the rep portal, please contact your regional sales manager with your name and email address. And then we will send you an email when that when the rep portal is live, and you'll already have an account that you can access, and um, and that way you'll you'll be the first to know. So this year, and we're continuing on. We're continuing on. Uh, sorry, last year, and also we're continuing with this year. Is we uh, were in Ted's. Uh, product lineup in, in 2020. And so we had a full page ad, as you can see here. And then also for this year, we're going to be in Electrical Contractor and as well as in TED Magazine. 
And so we're really, really excited just to bring more awareness to the brand as well as bring more awareness to our new products. Um, and as you can see, there's already a few websites here and there that I've already picked up some of our press releases. I've, Michael has also shown me uh, newspapers that have also picked up our press, press releases. And so it's just kind of great to see our name and our recognition growing um, as a result of those efforts. The other thing is we will be coming out this year with new sell sheets and print materials. And so I know that um, some of the agents have been asking for new product catalogs and they will actually be ready within four weeks. We are right now we're just adding new products. The products that are featured in this uh, in this in this webinar will be adding to the catalogs that will go to print in about two to three weeks and then it'll be sent to you um, in less than a month. And so in addition to the product catalogs, which is which is great to have, we also want to come out with sell sheets that are more targeted either to the market or to or that shows a really clear understanding of the comparison within, you know, our area like family or our Wallpack family. And so um, so just keep an eye out. We'll be we'll be coming out with those very, very soon. Um, another another thing that we want to add is if you are interested in co-branding, if you want to you know create a print material for either a promotion or for an event, um, please let me know, and then we can actually work together and we can you know co-brand on um, on something together, and then that way I think that's a great opportunity for both of us. In addition to print, we really want to make uh, a large step towards going towards product videos and product installation videos and just being able to feature that on our website as well as on our social media channels. Um, of course, video, I think, is a great medium for us to show these new products. And last but not least, um, we are definitely looking for case studies. So if you do have a fantastic project that you think would be wonderful uh, if it features, you know, either our, our HX high bays or our sports lighter, um, please let me know. And we are, and we're working with Susan Bloom, uh, who's, you know, an industry veteran. And so she, she's the one who's writing our case studies. And so we'll be working together with her and we would just love to feature the product, the product and also the project as well. So if you, if you know of anything coming up. And then last but not least, NIMRA is next week, next uh, Wednesday. So we'll be meeting a lot of our agents at NIMRA, we do have a special award ceremony. And so transportation is provided. I'll send out the official invite link again. So in case you need to update the uh, RSVP, the people who will be attending. And then for and our non-NIMRA agents, we'll also have a special award as well. So don't feel that you are uh, forgotten just because you're not a part of NIMRA. So we'll be doing something to you know show appreciation and recognize our agents for last year's uh, last year's work and dedication. And then it's never too soon to talk about Light Fair. Um, we have we have a really, really amazing booth this year. Like this really beautiful and we'll be showing a lot of our new products. Um, we'll also be doing these daily prizes. We'll have like a wheel of fortune type of um, type of thing. And um, so we'll be so please invite your distributors and we'll be we'll be doing fun uh, fun prizes including a all expenses paid vacation. All right, thanks. Some uh, really exciting stuff. One of the things that we just developed and put together uh, is a mock-up sample program. Uh, I know uh, a lot of you are familiar with, with that. They're called TIP programs at other manufacturers and stuff. but. Similar, uh, the way this thing will run, it's, uh, again, we have regional sales managers in each territory. Uh, what this program is done, uh, is designed to do is make sure end users, customers can get fixtures in their hands, feel them, touch them, sample them, evaluate them uh, without having to make a commitment to them or not. So the ideal of what, how this program will work uh, is that you're going to submit with your distributor partner a PO to SLG, uh, and but you must label it mock-up sample. SLG, once they receive that, will go on and ship those samples out. Now, standard is two. If you need more, don't worry. Uh, contact your regional manager, and he can approve it uh, so that you can get those samples to a customer. The customer has 60 days to evaluate those samples. Uh, at the end of that 60 days, 
Uh, they must return those samples and in the original packaging, undamaged, and full credit will be issued. Now, let your distributors know at the time, the way we do it, when we ship a product from our facility, it automatically gets invoiced. They will have 60-day terms on that invoice. So it's not an invoice they have to pay right away. Once we receive these products back, they're inspected, they're okay, credit will be given um, and issued for that invoice to, to your distributor. If, in fact, they keep the samples, uh, then they're won and the invoice will be due at the end of those 60 days. Now, we will cover the cost of shipping the samples to the customer, but the customer is going to be responsible for getting the samples back to us. So that's how that program works. Uh, if you've got any additional questions, reach out to your regional sales managers. They'll be more than happy to answer that for you. Mm -hmm. And it's not advancing for me, Hannah. There you go. <laughs> so again, uh, we've broken the country into five regions, and now you can see all their ugly mugs up there. That's why mine's not on there. I would have broken it. But as you can see, the star up there for Robert, he's our, our newest guy. He goes by Rob. Uh, we welcome him on board, and I think we've got a great team out there to uh, help service and drive the business for you. And I want to thank all of them for their support for me last year. And now we want to open this up to questions and answers. Uh, but before we go into that, one thing I would like to say to you, uh, SLG, uh, and a lot of you will hear it next week, and the others will hear it afterwards. We had a phenomenal year uh, last year again. Uh, we didn't get where we were hoping to get, but we weren't far from it. And the other key thing is that I know from uh, being in the industry so long, talking to some colleagues of mine from years past that a lot of the industry was off, uh, but we had significant growth, which we're really happy and proud of. And we, that was all made possible because of you. And I want to take this time mm -hmm. to thank each and every one of you. And I'm looking forward to even a better 2020. I'm excited about some of the things uh, that we, we, we know that's coming down the pike. We haven't discussed today because I can't tell you a lot about them. But I can just, a little teaser that optics are going to change in a big way for uh, SLG this year and even some unique fixtures only for SLG is on the work. So just to let you know, uh, there's some exciting things coming down the pike for us. So at this point, mm -hmm. I'd like to open it up to question and answers. Anybody? Hannah, can you? Yes. So um, I can let me see. I believe all of you should be able to um, decide to unmute. If not, then let me see if there's something that I need to do to adjust the settings. Okay. okay, so I'm just going to individually um, give permission so that way if you do have a question please feel free to unmute yourself and and you'll be able to we'll be able to hear you hello we got anybody there yet
Yes, one, uh, well, sorry, one second, John. Yes, you, you, you are able to, you are able to unmute. I'm sorry, there's not a way to quickly do this for everyone. I have to individually do it. You know what, I think you guys actually answered my question on the uh, E26 twin replacements. So I was just uh, suggesting okay. you ask people uh, to type in their questions if they have any. It seems to be working pretty well for me. Really great stuff, though. I appreciate everything you guys are doing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Artie, is there anything else? No, thank you very much. Oh, we answer. heard you, Alan. <laughs> How'd you know it was me? I can tell that voice, man. Okay, just checking. That's a Jersey voice. There you go. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, hey, this is a rich uh, out here, Rich Fishbeck out here in uh, California. How are you doing? Hey, Rich. Hey, uh, great presentation. Uh, thanks for all the good stuff. One thing I wanted to just ask is uh, if you guys could go back to your product manager on the wall packs, um, you might want to think about looking at a microwave sensor uh, for the wall packs. Uh, it looked, it, it kind of looked like it, the wall packs had a. Uh, Exterior mounted uh, PIR sensor. I don't know if you guys have explored a you know microwave sensor that could be put in behind the glass lens. Uh, we have done it on other fixtures. I would have to check with them on that one. But yeah, we we've, we've done that on on some stairwells type applications and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay, good to know because you know that's that's big here in. Uh, yeah. Hey Steve, um, just to your point about the TR wrap uh, being used as a stairwell fixture, they don't yeah. need to be vandal proof. I do represent a company that has stairwell fixtures that are not vandal proof. What what are the what are some of the new criteria? I know some of them. I, I know down in Baltimore, I, I worked on a, a few of them down in Baltimore, and. They, they, of course, you know, public housing, they want vandal proof and impact resistant and all that. So, uh, is there another criteria? I believe you have to have uh, internal lock sensors, um, but that may just be for a rebate. Uh, but no, yeah. you could put that TR. Uh, I've already used TRs um, as a stairwell fixture. Okay. Oh, well, and that's, believe it or not, that's one of the uh, microwave sensors that we did on some of them that we put them inside on a fixture that was being put in a stairwell. But again, you know, I didn't know if there was something new out there or not. So maybe a DLC five will have a change, but not today. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Steve, this is Dave Wilson. Um, hey, Dave. When will we be able to get a sports lighting sample? And have you done a typical layout of a little league field that we can show how many fixtures it would take to light a typical little league field? Yeah, we are currently, COE has done a few layouts actually for different uh, mm -hmm. uh, areas. So basically she would just need to know the size of the field and what, you know, then we can look up what the light levels are, what they're trying to for, because it, 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 believe it or not, the light levels are all dependent on the sport and, you know, at what level they're being done. Uh, I know, you know, professional and, and, and college, you know, Division One college, they want a lot of light for television. So that's all going to depend on that day. But, yeah, she can do that layout for you and, and do that. As far as getting a sample, uh, just reach out to Michael. I actually will have the, the sample – it, at my house on Monday, it's being shipped to me right now. There's a few of them out, a couple of them out there. We don't have them fully in stock. We just have a few samples right now that's going around the country. But uh, just reach out to Michael, and when it leaves here, it can probably come see you. That'd be great. But here's the thing I'd, I'd like to see if we can do in each region or however you want to do it. Uh, we just, as you know, just finished Pike Central School for all their parking lots. And uh -huh. tomorrow I'm going up to another school system where the distributor actually took the superintendent over to that parking lot we just finished, and he made the decision on the spot to do his schools. So I would oh, like wow. to see what we could do to get 
a special price or installation done at one of these high schools that we're doing the uh -huh. parking lot lighting for? Because I think we could end up getting a lot of sports lighting uh, with these schools if we had one where we could literally take these superintendents over and have them look at it, show them what, what we did. And I think that it could sell a lot of product for us, but we really need to do it right. So we might want to wait until we have the, the different distributions to do the layout. With. Yeah. We have currently, and, and I'm not sure exactly, but I know two large, there's at least two large uh, projects we've sold already for the sports lighter. So uh, we will have something available. And like you said, we can work with Michael, and we can definitely talk about getting something set up, you know, at a reasonable price to do show, tell, and sell, right? Right. All right. Yeah, just reach out to Michael. We can, we can work on something. I'll let you know more about it. I know we're supposed to have those products. I know even when I was there, they were making the housings and the lens and stuff, so they're working on getting a large amount shipped here. I just don't know exactly when the sh timing uh, on them to be in stock yet. Steve, last one. We got jammed up the end of the year with a lot of orders, so um, our deliveries went out a little bit. Do you have a feel for when we'll be back to normal shipping schedules? Uh, yeah, we have actually been slammed. You're right. We we were slammed at the end of the year with uh, – with two things, not only orders going out, but stuff coming in because we are anticipating the uh, Chinese New Year and we were trying to take in as much stuff as we could. And actually currently, to be honest with you, Michael's trying to get the uh, the people that's in the same building as us to, uh, there's a, another guy in the building right behind us. We're trying to get that building from him as well or some of that space from him. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how much stuff we got. So. Hopefully, uh, Alan, that'll smooth out over the next month or so, but it should smooth out pretty soon. Okay. Thank you. Hey, listen, if something's not, guys, if something's not going well or going the way going you anticipate, reach out to us. Reach out to the regionals. We want to know. We want to make sure that mm -hmm. we, we are listening to you and we are responding to you and that we're the easiest company for you guys to deal with. All right, is that it? Hey guys, just to let you know, it's 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 not quite an hour yet, but close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did the hour. <laughs> well, I want to thank everybody for attending. Uh, we really appreciate it. Like I said, if you got any follow up, you can reach out to me, Hannah, or any of the regionals. They'll be more than happy to help you and assist you. And looking forward to a great year with you guys. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you. Bye now.